We're dealing with a BFT-5 today. Winter storms are coming in. Now that all of you know what happened and saw the non-vlog yesterday, I mean, it was completely understandable for someone like Chris Crable that didn't have... I haven't seen any comments because it's like one. The video's not even live for three hours. But anyways, so... <laughs> we have... We just got the email back this morning that basically says uh, we signed up for a saver rate or something on the hotel, which was more of the issue as to why we were having an issue back in September. The problem is, lady came out of second floor, third floor, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, and I forgot what I was talking about because like every time we turn the corner, she look up and like glare at me. So I was getting like, what's your problem? But anyways, yeah, as you can see, my hair is being picked up by the wind. If I wasn't going very far, I'd probably just use the bike. But the sheer idea of going over that bridge is what's kicking it up. Again, if the ferry we're in, I'd probably be a lot more inclined to take the... Anyways, back to the uh, idea. Um, yeah, so we don't know. We have, because they canceled the train while we were on it, uh, we do have the voucher for a whole year. But as is right now, unless we were to somehow uh, go on and do things with like in December, which is last minute planning, but again, there's no football happening. I'm not gonna write this trip off, it's just what in the living fuck was happening? <laughs> they were having technical malfunctions left and right, and they were trying to get us on the train. I get it, but it was just. Like, Aaron and I had, like, a quasi-fight because the very last thing that we were on the train, I said, don't joke. He was already pissed and wanted to relieve some of his pee owed. And I said, don't joke right now. Because I was already in my feels. And, yeah. And so, he was dead silent the whole trip home. And, yeah. All right, I'm down here at Yumbo. Picked up all our drinks. Aaron wanted his water, um, or he wanted a fresh water bottle. So yeah, I picked one up because we couldn't get it at Alberheim. Um, yeah, just been feeling real bleh recently. I just got my beers. Um, they have a six pack of Cross Winterbach here, but I don't want to get that. <sighs> Anyways, I've been feeling real bleh. Um, Hmm, apparently Doritos is doing its uh, thing. A bunch of Doritos with games on it. Cool American is Forza. <laughs> Nacho Cheese, Halo Infinite. Pure Paprika. Elder Scrolls. Sweet Chili Pepper is PUBG Battleground. No, oh, that's it. I don't know if my meds have been feeling, making me feel apathetic or whatnot. I just know that like my hair is bleh. <laughs> Whereas like the wind was blowing it way up high. <sighs> Roman Hakas house for me. They don't actually have Aaron's thing here. Weird. But he has one for tomorrow. <sighs> I'm getting him one for tomorrow because he didn't order them yesterday. I'm going to get my stuff done and then we're going to have more talk about the apathy stuff and how it relates to football and stuff. Maybe I just need to wait till I'm home. Aaron will have his headphones on and they can chat. I need to say this. Okay, I'm home now. I have
had a little bit of soup and some carrot. No, I didn't have my, I had my carrots earlier with my stuff. So, yeah. So I don't know if my meds are causing a generalized amount of apathy. But I am not... not having the passion of football. Like, I, I watch it, I want to do it, I want to play it. I, I just, there seems to be kind of a repulsive force right now, and I don't know what it is. It's kind of been with a lot of things that Sometimes they're it's hard to describe, I guess. But like even with wow, I just sort of to be fair, it's I, I just I don't know. My brain feels mushed and like I won't go to the gym, no. Like, maybe is this is the executive dysfunction, where I just, my brain is beyond, like, I have, it's just like I have no drive to do anything. When I'm out and about, I'm doing it, but it's like, there's a, After a fashion, it feels like that there's just too much effort to do practice, you know, and and I feel bad that, you know, a lot of it isn't, you know, my finger's still all fucked up, feels weirder by the day, my phone's really warm, um, some days it feels good, some days it feels bad, but, you know, so made the joke to the butcher that I'm starting to do stuff like my dad with the middle finger because now I get it. <laughs> my dad always did stuff with the middle finger and, and I get it. <laughs> I just... Part of what I think it might be just generalized apathy is brain has gotten to the idea of like, well, what if I just never went back? Yeah. What if I never went, you know, and that's why I think like, it's sort of like many years ago, I had a really, I had someone had a really bad hangover near me and I asked them questions and they kept saying no. So I started answering or asking opposing questions. Um, are you hungry? No. Do you want to eat something? No. Do you want to starve? No. Do you want to drink? No. Do you want to get up? No. Do you want to keep sleeping? No. <laughs> um, and I'll talk with my doctor. We're going to push for the next two Thursdays and then crowning up. After that, we get to figure out the meds and see what the doctor says. The only thing I worry about with the doctor is having to new, 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 down this medication, then up another medication, and we'll be in March by the time I get to a reasonable dose on a on a different medication. It's the stupid thing, and then when you find one, you stick with it, and that's why I stuck with the trimethyl for so long. But after a while, I don't think it did anything. Yeah, that's not pretty much it. The whole weekend, I just sat back and didn't vlog. I didn't do anything. I just stared at WoW and laid down and thought about things. listened to the world 
took a census, realized that 